Good Sunday, one and all, and welcome to yet another edition of the Cliff Ellis Show. I'm your host, Brandon Dunn, along with Coastal Carolina men's basketball coach Cliff Ellis. One more week left in the regular season as Coastal comes off a swing in the state of Arkansas. Two games in the natural state. Coach, two games, winnable games against teams that you guys had success against here at the HTC Center. So going into this week, I'm assuming you felt pretty confident going over there and taking care of business. Well, we know that we can, and we also know that every road game in the Sunbelt Conference is just a, a tough basketball game. And the one thing that you know about Arkansas games, mm -hmm. they understand the game of basketball. Yeah. Uh, you know, with that being in Razorback territory, it's a very big basketball mm -hmm. state. So uh, we know that we're going to have that with regards to and we saw it. Uh, with regards to play. So these are two good teams. Everybody right now is trying to get at their best. And I think what we're seeing is everybody fighting for that two, in two weeks we're going to be, actually two weeks from now the Sun Belt Conference Tournament Finals will be, be, be being played. Right. So uh, you're going to get the best from both teams. And uh, uh, so uh, uh, we saw that in these games and uh, the Arkansas trip is every bit as tough as we thought it would be. Uh, it's unusual for this program yourself to have three games left on the schedule, uh, three road games, mm -hmm. uh, no games here at the HTC Center. Uh, so clearly the back's against the wall, but sometimes teams play better when they're on the road because there's not the distractions of those situations. So going into this tournament here in a week or so, uh, I'm assuming you're trying to get some of that uh, cohesion to go with right. along with the team. Well, I think everybody would love to play 30 games at home. But that's not the case. For us, going on the road the last two weeks, because the tournament is in New Orleans mm -hmm. and, and, and on a neutral site, preparation for it on the road is better right. than being at home. So that's what these next two weeks or these two weeks do uh, with regards to the tournament because that's what we're shooting for, the Sun Belt Conference Tournament. All right, well, Coach, let's talk a little bit about Little Rock. That was the first team that you faced on Thursday, a team you beat here at home by 10 uh, at the end of January. So you knew what to expect. You've already faced them, but going into Little Rock, as you mentioned, it's a different story. This was a tournament team not too long ago, so they've got some players, got some weapons that can keep things interesting. And they have a coaching staff that understands the system. Wes Flanagan played for me at Auburn. Mitch Cole was on our staff for one year. They know everything that we do. I mean, this is where they cut their teeth. And so you see some of the same looks with ball screens. And this is a game that they want dearly mm -hmm. uh, because uh, it's, uh, you know, there's just a little personal pride in this. Let's go get the coach and, and do that. And they've got weapons. Uh, they're young, mm -hmm. but they've got weapons, and they're getting better and better. They've got some young posts that can play. They've got perimeter guys that can do it. This is a team to contend with in the next two or three years. You know, fans, they like to look at standings and see where teams are. If you looked at Little Rock, they're at the bottom of this conference. But you as a coaching staff realize that you've got to get your team prepared regardless of where this other team might sit with just a couple of wins in the win column in Sunbelt play. Do you try to avoid letting those guys see those things, knowing that, hey, you still got to go out and play regardless of what the records may be? In the Sun Belt, there's no easy game. And when you're on the road, it's just tough. And uh, you have to keep in mind that this is a team that was, you know, w w had a big year uh, two years ago in the in Sun Belt mm -hmm. Conference uh, tournament. They uh, played well and they went to the NCAA and won, beat, beat uh, uh, a strong Power Five team. So, we don't take anything for granted, and you know we haven't won enough ourselves to be worrying about whether we're the big dog. I mean, last year we had a good year, but this year has been a, been a struggle. All right, well, let's head off to Little Rock, show you what happened in this one Thursday to see if the Shawna Clares could uh, pick up a W in Arkansas. The Shawna Clares looking to get this road trip off on the right foot. Coastal jumps out to a quick 5 nothing lead. DeMario Beck with a three, and CCU was off and running. The Shawna Clears continue their fast starts. Artur Labinowitz cans the jumper. He wasn't the only one. A.J. Sanders comes alive in the first six minutes. The road team up two at the 13-14 minute mark. Tyrell Gums Frater continues his impressive run. He had 11 against South Alabama. Hits the three here to extend the coastal lead to five. Less than five minutes to go before the half. Zach Cuthbertson from long range, Coastal up 22-16. Jalen Shaw closing in on his Coastal career, hits a three as well. Shauna Clears feeling the love from outside to extend the lead to nine. Each team hits a cold spell in the final three minutes. 
but not before Beck delivers with the flush. Coastal up 31-23 at the half. We head second half. Little Rock battles back. Ben Marcus with the lay-in pulls the Trojans within three. Coastal, however, would weather the storm. Cuthbertson inside with the deuce. CCU by five. Then Josh Coleman doing work off the bench. He'll connect on the jumper, and the Chanticleers were up eight with 13.32 to play. A Cameron Reedus three would pull the Trojans within 42-40 with 10 to go, and we had ourselves a ball game. But Gums Freighter nails a big three with four minutes to play. From there, it was a free throw shooting contest, one that the Chanticleers would win. En route to a 65-60 victory, Jalen Shaw would go for 15 to pace the Chanticleers, Gums Freighter would add a career-high 14 off the bench. Coach, big win. Yep. Uh, anytime you can go on the road and pick up a win, you and I have said that for years, it's, it's a huge accomplishment, but more so now because now you're moving up the ladder with regards to conference tournament seedings. Uh, it's always better to be at the top than it is at the bottom, and this surely helps your cause. Well, it's a good start to get on the road, and, and this is what we've got to do when we get to the tournament. We've got to find ways to win. So uh, what a good win. and. Uh, you know, I'm just proud of our team uh, to, to, to really come in and go at a Little Rock team that had, that had come off of a good win at Arkansas State. Knowing this team was hungry and wanted to win. What does it say about your team to start this uh, three-game road swing to come away with a, a victory to prepare themselves for, as you alluded to, a big conference tournament down the road? Well, I think it says that this team is ready, getting ready for conference tournament play, that uh, they know what they have to do and they've got to focus on each possession, one possession at a time, and it's not going to be easy. Uh, you, can't get, you can't get caught up if you make a mistake. You just got to keep, you got to keep working. When we get to that tournament, it's going to be about one possession at a time, and that's, that's our entire focus on this road swing. What was your, um, when you were practicing, what, was, what were you driving home leading into this Little Rock game? Well, I, the, the fact that this team really likes to drive the basketball, they've got inside, outside balance. They shot the three ball better against us at home uh, at, at Coastal than we thought that they could. So we knew, we knew we had to get out on a couple of their guys. And, uh, you know, they also in, in turn made some adjustments themselves. Mm -hmm. but. We wanted to stop the drive, get out to three-point shooters. We know their inside players can do some things, and we wanted to take the ball inside. All right, big win for Coastal Carolina on the road to start this two-game road swing. We're going to take a quick break. When we come back, we'll go to Saturday's game in Jonesboro to see if the Shawna Clares could sweep this road swing in Arkansas. We'll have highlights of that one with Coach Ellis when we return here on the Cliff Ellis Show. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. The Cliff Ellis Show is brought to you by Waccamaw Land and Timber. At Logan's Roadhouse, we grill up sizzling Southern-inspired flavor using time-honored recipes we've collected and perfected over time. From the inviting aromas of our wood-fired grilled steaks to our delicious from scratch dishes with seasonings you can see, we know how to bring out food's true flavor. And when you pair our food with an ice-cold beer or our handcrafted Roadhouse tea, you'll understand why Logan's Roadhouse is much more than a restaurant. Come to where steak rules the road. Logan's Roadhouse. For more than 60 years, HTC has been delivering worldwide connections from right here in our community. A community our employees are proud to support in every way. From coaching Little League sports to local fundraisers and quarterly blood drives. We sponsor and support the community and our school systems, recognizing greatness along the way. It's a commitment we take seriously, all to strengthen the connections here in our community. HTC, this is life. Connect with it. When you bring the indoors outdoors, there are no rules. At its heart, above all else, A&I has had a long-standing commitment to the community. Our driving force is our dedication to the people we serve. From Myrtle Beach to Florence. Wilmington to Charleston. Every job is different, 
and every community is unique. No matter what disaster has brought us to you, it's our commitment that will keep us here. We're proud to be celebrating 40 years of service to the Carolinas. And we're looking forward to 40 more. The Cliff Ellis Show is brought to you by H&H &H Immunizations. Welcome back, folks. Hope your Sunday is going well. We continue to roll on with the two games in Arkansas, switching gears to Saturday's game in Arkansas at Arkansas State in Jonesboro. Coastal Carolina looking to get another win on the road if possible. And coach, going in this one, you knew it was going to be another battle because they all are battles in the Sun Belt yeah, Conference. Well, Arkansas State, the one thing I know about Arkansas State, their fans really understand the game mm -hmm. and they're right there with it. They play so well at home and they give you so many looks. You know, we played Thursday at, at Little Rock, and you got one day to prepare. This team, uh, the coach came from the Louisville system, a lot of defenses. I mean, presses, zones, man to man. And, uh, but this is good preparation for the tournament because you got two different, total different styles mm -hmm. from Little Rock to Arkansas State. So, uh, anyway, totally different game. Going into a place where the people understand the game and, and, uh, you know, we know it's going to be a tough match. What did you see from Arkansas State from the previous meeting here at the HTC Center that maybe you guys could use to be successful against this team? Well, we've got to get the ball in the middle of the zone. We know that this is a team that's going to play zone. Little Rock's an all man-to-man -man team. So, you know, we go from playing man-to-man, -man, although they, Arkansas Little Rock would play, some zone, but this is basically a zone team first, kind of like playing a Syracuse. Mm -hmm. You know, they're going to zone you. So you've got to change that mentality, and we've got to get the ball into the middle of the zone. So I'm assuming with that being said, you were looking for Bamba and Rio, Demario Beck, to have big games inside because that's kind of their bread and butter, so to speak. And Zach yes. and uh, all those guys, it's going to be important they do that. But our perimeter got a flash in the middle, too. we got to get the ball in the middle. and. Yeah, you know, it's not just the big, so you got to get it into the middle of the zone. All right, let's go into these highlights and show you what happened in Jonesboro, Arkansas. The Shauna Clears with a chance to sweep the Arkansas road trip. First half, Coastal firing from long range. Artur Labinowitz connects on the three to give the road team an early 4-0 lead. Red Foxes answer the bell. Ty Cockfield nails a pair of long range bombs as Arkansas State built an 11-4 lead. Shots would battle back. Tyrell Gums Freighter pulls Coastal within two midway through the frame. Gums Freighter not done yet. He'll hit another big three and we're tied at 20. We've got ourselves a ball game in Jonesboro. 8.30 left before the half. Demario Beck gets in the act. He'll can the jumper to put Coastal up three. Gums Freighter having a career performance. Cans another triple. He'll have 21 in the first half, extending the lead to eight. Amadou Bamba would help the cause with a flush, and the road team hits the half up 46-35 with 20 minutes to go in Jonesboro. Off to the second half we go. Shauna Clears mount their biggest lead. Labinowitz with a hot hand early on. Nails a pair of triples, giving Coastal a 13-point lead. But the Red Wolves answer the bell. Connor Kern with the three. Shots lead down to three. Zach Cutherson would give Coastal a seven-point edge as we have 10 minutes to go before the end of this one. But the final 10 minutes was interesting to say the least. Tristan Whaley down low with a lay-in, and just like that, the shot's lead is down to one. Ty Cockfield would give the Red Wolves the lead here with 2.19 left on the clock. But give credit to CCU. They wouldn't falter. Gums Freighter with a huge three. Add that with a jumper from Labinowitz, and the shot of clears were up one. Shots with a chance to seal the deal. Jalen Shaw delivers with the dagger. And Coastal Carolina sweeps the Arkansas road trip with an 88-81 victory over Arkansas State. Tyrell Gums Freighter with a career-high 24 points. Zach Cuthbertson added 19-9. and And the Shauna Clares improved to 8-9 and nine in conference play. Big road win uh, for Coastal Carolina in Jonesboro. Anytime you can grab a win coming home, it always makes you feel a little better when you when that plane lands and uh, and you got that win on your belt. Road wins are always huge. I mean, anytime you get one, it just feels good. There's nothing like a road win that's sweet. And to go into Arkansas State and win where the fans are really into it, uh, where they have a system that is totally different from most of the teams that you play in the league, to have one day to prepare and to go in and get a win. Very proud of our team, very proud of our team. This is a good win for us. Uh, now as we take this win and move forward, 
uh, we got a game next week that we'll get ready for. Hopefully we can use this to, to move forward. And I'm assuming that when you look at film, you'll look at obviously the negatives first and then the positives. Positives hopefully can help you against App State, which we'll talk about a little bit later on. Uh, but going in to App State with one more game left on the slate, you got to feel good knowing that uh, coming oh. off this win going to help you guys. Well, it's a confidence builder, confidence <laughs> builder. Now there's only one game left. We got this win. There's one game left before we get to the tournament. All right, so we're going to take another quick break. When we come back, time to feature A.J. Sanders and what he's meant to this program. Coach and I will talk about Sanders when we come back here on the Cliff Ellis Show. We'll be right back. The Cliff Ellis Show is brought to you by the Britain Law Firm. Strand Orthopedic is a proud supporter of Coastal Carolina Athletics. Strand Orthopedic provides the best care from simple sprains to the most complex spinal or sports related injuries. It is our mission to get patients back to life and back in the game and help them resume normal activities in the safest and shortest amount of time. Get in the game with Strand Orthopedic. Locals love Creek Rats for lunch. They say it's the fresh salads, fantastic wraps, and seafood baskets. But when you experience those incredible waterfront views, you get that relaxed Creek Rats attitude. Waterfront on the Marsh Walk in Merle's Inlet. So totally free checking is completely free? Yes, sir. Right. Next you'll tell me there's free online banking. Actually, there is. Free online bill pay? Mm-hmm. No way I can get a free quick card, debit card, the instant I open an account. Check. Yeah, check. Like, free first order of checks? All included. What? And a free gift? And a free gift. Come in today and sign up for Crestcom's totally free checking. Stop by any of our convenient locations. I'm on candy camera, right? Locals love Creek Rats for dinner. They rave about the nightly specials and how much they enjoy the live music. But when you experience that incredible waterfront view, you get that relaxed Creek Rats attitude. Waterfront on the Marsh Walk in Merle's Inlet. Another trial, another battle. Where's your strength? Tenacity. What's your history? Fighting for my clients in court. But what sustains me now is working with three of the finest individuals I've ever known. My family. There's power in family, power for our clients. Fighting for your rights is my family's business. Britain Law, born to fight, bred to win. The Cliff Ellis Show is brought to you by Yellowwood Pressure Treated Pine. Welcome back one and all to the Cliff Ellis Show. Let's switch gears and talk about AJ Sanders. Coach, he's been making progress during his stint here at Coastal Carolina, junior with another year left. What have you seen from AJ since he's been here in Conway? Well, he, he's a guy that brings it every day. He's one of our better defenders on the ball. Uh, he guards the ball extremely well. He is a tremendous rebounder for a guard, a tremendous rebounder. Been a streaky shooter. When the ball goes in for him, it's hard for teams to beat us. For example, he hit, I think, four threes against South Carolina. We should have come out with a win. When, when the ball's going down for him, we're really playing well. Mm -hmm. uh, and when it's not, it, it creates a struggle. But the strength is his defense is rebounding, and he brings it every day. Uh, he gives you no problems off the court. He's a pleasure to coach, and uh, uh, he's represented us well. When you were recruiting him, what was it about this young man that stood out to you that says, you know what, I want him to be a Shauna Claire? Right here. Heart, 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 heart. All right. Mark Haggard has more on A.J. Sanders. He stands six feet, four inches tall. A.J. Sanders out of Greenville, North Carolina, is a junior college transfer from Olney Central in Illinois. After playing two years of JUCO ball, Sanders is right where he wants to be. I came here as a high school. I was in senior high school when we were playing team camp here. My um, high school, Greenfield, came down for team camp, and Coach Moss actually saw me playing against his son. I was playing against his son's high school team. And then that's when they started recruiting me. And then I ended up going JUCO. Then he recruited me throughout my JUCO um, experience. Then I, he offered me, and I committed once they offered. I knew out of high school this is where I wanted to play college basketball at. Sanders made the move from small forward to shooting guard at CCU. He says he loves his new role with the Chanticleers. To hit shots and play defense. I'm just give, play as hard as I can when I get on the floor and give it to my all. Help, help us win. <laughs> that's, the biggest, that's my biggest role, help us win. 
Sanders is one of the shot's top three-point shooters. So when does he know when to pass the ball and when to shoot? Well, the defense, if the defense is not there, I'm wide open, I'm shooting. If they close out late, I'm shooting. <laughs> if I can see the rim, I'm going to shoot. <laughs> Sanders says Coach Ellis has helped him improve his game since his arrival on the CCU campus. I've become a smarter basketball player because of Coach Ellis. He's a really good coach, and he's done it for a long time, so he knows a lot about basketball. So you can tell by as many wins as he has. So like, I'm, I'm just seeing stuff on the floor. Like The games become a lot slower since I've been here. Like When the game slows down, it becomes easier to play. And I think that's the biggest step that's helped me on the floor since I've been here. It's like he's really like he's risen my he's helped my basketball IQs rise since I've been here. Away from basketball, Sanders is a solid student with an eye on the future. I'm sociology major with an intent in criminal in criminology. I'm gonna be a detective. When I, I'm gonna be a detective and do crime scene investigation once the basketball is over. But hopefully I can keep playing basketball for as long as I can. But I know eventually the ball will stop, it will start bouncing. I'm gonna have to go into the workforce. I don't do crime scene investigation. I feel like my personality and the person I am, I'd be a great person to help that field, especially with like police brutality and the way they're looking at it right now. I feel like I can help change that. As a student athlete, Sanders says his Coastal Carolina experience has been wonderful. I love it here. I'm gonna say it's a good experience. I'm right here in the beach, so it's not love about the beach and the good weather. And I'm saying it's a great atmosphere. I just go around campus. Everyone's always happy, and there's people from all over. So you never know where one of your classmates are from. And so I've learned that. It was like it's a lot of people from New York here. I don't know why some people from New York, but I guess they love the warm weather and the beach. Coach Ellis, you got one more year with AJ in your system. Right. He loves to practice, loves to go out there and get better. Right now, he's, he's a little bit on a streak, not, not one that he wants to be on, but I know sooner or later, as you mentioned, he's a streaky shooter. He's going to start hitting these buckets. Well, that's true, and when he does, we're, we're, we're a better basketball team. But the thing we know is he's going to bring it defensively every day, and that's what he does, and that's what Christian Adams does. You know, we've got a team that has to win with defense, and he's one of the mainstays and uh, he's certainly given us some great moments on the defensive side of the ball, and he's had some good offensive games. Going into the offseason, which hopefully will be a little bit further down the road for you guys, what do you want to see from A.J. coming into his senior year? Now that he knows the system, uh, uh, get to where he uh, understands uh, the offensive side of the ball a little bit better. We want him to shoot more consistently. We'll work on that uh, with his handles. Mm -hmm. uh, want him to be able to uh, to to feed the ball inside to the post when they're open and you know improving the passing area and in the dribbling area. All right, AJ Sanders another year in the system here at Coastal Carolina. So, if you haven't seen him live, you get another year to do so. When we come back, we're going to talk about the final game of the regular season as the Shauna Clears head up to North Carolina to take on App State. That's coming up when the Cliff Ellis show continues here on ABC 15. The Cliff Ellis show is brought to you by Creek Rats. It's time to get your fun on at Broadway at the Beach. Specializing in one-of-a-kind shopping, shoppers will find treasures of every kind, from unique gift shops you won't find anywhere else to nationally recognized names. And while shopping, don't forget to refuel at one of more than 20 mouth-watering restaurants and eateries, where you can choose from the all-American hamburger and milkshake to fajitas and sushi. Broadway is also home to spectacular attractions and live entertainment. For more information, visit broadwayatthebeach.com. Broadway at the Beach, positively awesome. At its heart, above all else, A&I has had a long-standing commitment to the community. Our driving force is our dedication to the people we serve. From Myrtle Beach to Florence, Wilmington to Charleston. Every job is different and every community is unique. No matter what disaster has brought us to you, it's our commitment that will keep us here. We're proud to be celebrating 40 years of service to the Carolinas. And we're looking forward to 40 more. Buckham on Land and Timber has been serving the Grand Strand since 1982. The ultimate goal of Waccam on Land and Timber is the best interest of both the buyer and the seller. If you're looking for a place to relax, hunt, or fish, the professionals at Waccam on Land and Timber can find you the perfect recreational property. Call 449-0441 to discuss your real estate needs with Waccam on Land and Timber. Mm -hmm. 
It's time to get your fun on at Broadway at the Beach. Specializing in one-of-a-kind shopping, shoppers will find treasures of every kind from unique gift shops you won't find anywhere else to nationally recognized names. And while shopping, don't forget to refuel at one of more than 20 mouth-watering restaurants and eateries where you can choose from the all-American hamburger and milkshake to fajitas and sushi. Broadway is also home to spectacular attractions and live entertainment. For more information, visit broadwayatthebeach.com. Broadway at the Beach, positively awesome. The Cliff Ellis Show is brought to you by the Britain Law Firm. Welcome back here to the show. One week left in the regular season. Just one game on the slate for Coastal Carolina. They got Thursday off, Saturday at App State. Kind of a rebound game, so to speak, Coach, after they took care of business here against you on your home court. Yep. Hopefully you can go up there and take care of business on theirs. Well, they're tough. I mean, they're, they're tough. There's no doubt about that. Uh, they're a team that, uh, that beat us, and we have no... Uh, there was no question about who was the better team that particular day, and they did it by going inside mm -hmm. to their big guy, and then they've got Shabazz who just knocks threes down. Uh, it's a tough matchup for us. Appalachian State's always a very good team uh, uh, at their place, but uh, uh, we've got to play a great game, and this is our last, last preparation before what's really important, and that's the Sunbelt Conference Tournament. So uh, we'll – We'll get ready for that, and we'll get ready for our conference tournament as we go through this week. How much tape have you watched of the App State game here at Coastal um, to prepare for this matchup, knowing that, as you just alluded to, the bigs were just dynamic against you guys? Well, we know that. The thing about them is they've been the same team for the last couple of years, so there's really not a lot of surprise from a year ago. So once you've kind of been around the horn a few times, they know you, you know them. We know they're going inside to the big guys. I think the thing that is important about this team or what's made this team is they added a, a transfer from William and Mary who set out last year by the name of Seacat. Uh, these two guys inside are just, they're, they're, they're really bulls inside. They know what to do. So they, they make it uh, tough on your big guys. Our mm -hmm. big guys have to do their job. And uh, you got Shabazz outside and those guys inside. You got to score on them because they're going to score. All right, well, that's going to put a wrap on this edition of the Cliff Ellis Show. Remember, we'll be back next Sunday at noon here on ABC 15. We'll talk about the game against App State and prepare you for the conference tournament in the Big Easy. Coastal Carolina, Cliff Ellis heading down to New Orleans, hoping for a conference tournament victory and an automatic bid into the NCAA tournament. Have a fantastic weekend. We'll see you next Sunday. The Cliff Ellis Show is brought to you by Yellowwood Pressure Treated Pine. As parents, you ensure your child is fed and clothed, but are you doing all you can to make sure they're healthy? Each year, tens of millions of children contract the flu virus. Help your child fight the flu and be a health hero in their life. Health Hero offers school-located vaccinations throughout the Southeast. We help protect your children, family, and community with convenient, safe, and painless options. Administering flu mist nasal spray to participating students. And there are no out-of-pocket expenses regardless of insurance. Become a Health Hero today. As parents, you ensure your child is fed and clothed. But are you doing all you can to make sure they're healthy? Each year, tens of millions of children contract the flu virus. Help your child fight the flu and be a health hero in their life. Health Hero offers school-located vaccinations throughout the Southeast. We help protect your children, family, and community with convenient, safe, and painless options. Administering flu mist nasal spray to participating students. And there are no out-of-pocket expenses regardless of insurance. Become a Health Hero today. When you bring the indoors outdoors, there are no rules. For more than 60 years, HTC has been delivering worldwide connections from right here in our community. A community our employees are proud to support in every way, from coaching Little League sports to local fundraisers and quarterly blood drives. We sponsor and support the community and our school systems, recognizing greatness along the way. It's a commitment we take seriously, all to strengthen the connections here in our community. HTC, this is life. Connect with it. Locals love Creek Rats for lunch. They say it's the fresh salads, fantastic wraps, and seafood baskets. 
But when you experience those incredible waterfront views, you get that relaxed Creek Rats attitude. Waterfront on the Marsh Walk in Merle's Inlet.